Hey besties and welcome back to another tutorial. So we're just going to get right into it, okay? So starting off, I'm using the Ben Nye powder to basically just go over my brows and capture any oil that might still be on my face because I love to start my brows on a clean, dry canvas. So you'll see me go back and forth with this powder, just making sure it's all through the hair. And I'm just going to go and brush them and get them together. When doing your brows, guys, always make sure to start with light, feathery strokes. I use the color black for my brow pencil, but that's because I go in with the light hand. So make sure you're not being too harsh because we don't want dark, blocky brows in our face. So now I'm going in with my flat brush. I love using this brush for my eyebrows. It's the best. And I'm going in with two concealers from LA Girl. The first one I'm going in with is the medium beige shade. And you always want to use a lighter shade under your brows and use a shade closer to your skin tone for the top so you don't create a halo brow. Next, I'm going to use the shade I use on the top of my brow just to go in the front. So when I go to blend it in, it's not that white or lightish cast in the front of my brow. So this is a good trick, you guys. So just keep that in mind when doing your eyebrows. Okay, time to set the lids and I'm using my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I love using this because I like how it sets, how creamy it is. I just love this concealer so much. It does increase and it just gives me that coverage that I'm looking for for an everyday makeup look. After setting my eyelids with the concealer, I'm going in with that Ben Nye powder and I'm setting all of the areas that I have concealed. So please make sure you don't skip this step. It just creates a flawless base for your eyeshadow and I just love doing my makeup this way. So I do set my brows. Um, you'll see me go in and gently tap in the powder and that's because I don't want to disturb any of the concealer that's left on my face because if you go in too rough it could smudge the brows and who wants to start that over? 
Skin prep is the key to a flawless makeup look, so make sure you guys are cleansing your face. I'm just going in with toner, moisturizer, and then you'll see me go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops. And y'all, I am obsessed with this stuff. It smells so good and leaves your skin looking even better. Please add this to your cart ASAP. So this eye cream that I'm using, I'm actually going to also use it in my smile lines. And that's a little trick for you guys too. Guys, when blending your concealer, take your time. It's not a rush. Um, I usually wait a couple of minutes until the concealer is a little bit tacky to start blending it in because that's when you get the best coverage. So you'll just see me go back and forth blending in areas and blending and blending and blending. Basically, blend until you can't blend no more. So I'll just let y'all watch. So now I'm just going back in and blending out that concealer because when you leave concealer under your eyes, it tends to start the crease. So you'll see me periodically go in and make sure that that area is nice and smooth and it's no creases.
Guys, this step is completely optional. I just love a good bright under eye. Like this is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I just love the brightness. So if you want to skip this part, you can, but just watch me get into it. Oh, and my boyfriend's arm is an unpaid actor. <laughs> And this is what I mean when I say take your time blending. I'm not trying to do too many cuts because I want you guys to see that blending does not take two seconds. Sometimes you might spend five minutes blending the same area out. So just take your time so you can achieve that flawless base. I know a lot of the girls have problems with under eye creasing, so the key is to work really fast with your under eyes. That's why you see me place the powder down first, and then I go back in to blend it all in because concealers sometimes can crease in like 30 seconds. So I just work really fast and just blend that powder in, and yeah. So next I'm gonna go in with that brown shade. Yes, I hit pan on my Zulu palette. This is the warmest and best brown shade I think that I've ever come across. And I use that on my cheeks and I also use that on my eyes that go down into the bridge of my nose for my contour. And yeah, and now I'm just using a small brush just to blend out any harsh lines. When working with darker shades, make sure you place that powder under your eyes to catch any fallout.
I'm using a white shadow from the ColourPop Fill and Bubbly palette, and you'll see me show that in a video a little later. Now it's time to tight line and a lot of my clients say that when I tight line it's their first time doing it. So at first it might feel a little weird but it gets easier every time that you do it. <laughs> So all makeup brushes are different sizes for a reason. I like to use this small precision brush to go down the highlight of my nose just to really hit the areas that I want highlighted. So when doing this, use a small brush. And y'all know I had to throw on my favorite lashes. These are Tokyo from my brand AR Lashes. They will be linked in the description box below. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know which type of look you want me to do in my next video. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.